Hello, how to solve for s in this equation x plus 3 to the power of 6 is equal to 2 to the power of 6 solution. From here, we have x plus 3 to the power of 6 is equal to 2 to the power of 6. This is s plus 3 to the power of 6. Let's bring this 2 to the power of 6 to this side minus 2 to the power of 6 is equal to 0. Then this can be written as x plus 3 to the power of 3 all square minus 2 to the power of 3 square is equal to 0. Then this is in the form of perfect square. That is, if you have a square minus b square this is equal to a plus b bracket a minus b then where a is equal to x plus 3 to the power of 3 and b is equal to 2 to the power of 3. Let's substitute. This can be written as s plus 3 to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 bracket s plus 3 to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 0. From here, there are two cases here. The first case is s plus 3 to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 0. And the second case is s plus 3 to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 0. Let's consider this first case. Then from here, take note of this that if you have a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3, this is equal to a plus b bracket a square minus a b plus b square. Then this can be written as s plus 3 plus 2 bracket. Here we have s plus 3 square minus 2 bracket s plus 3 then plus b square is 2 square is equal to 0. And this is s plus 3 plus 2 can be written as 3 plus 2, that is 5. We have s plus 5 bracket. And here, let's expand this. This can be written as s square plus 6 s plus 9 then minus 2 multiply by x that is minus 2 s minus 2 multiply by 3 that is minus 6 then plus 2 square that is 4 is equal to 0 here we have s plus 5 bracket here we have s square 6s minus 2s that is plus 4s then here 9 minus 6 that is 3 plus 4 we have plus 7 is equal to 0 then from here again there are two cases here the first case is s plus 5 equal to 0 and the second case is s square plus 
4s plus 7 is equal to 0. And then from here, s is equal to minus 5. This is the first value of s. And from here, this is a quadratic equation which can be solved using quadratic general formula. We have s is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Then uh, from this equation, a is equal to 1, b equal to 4, c equal to 7. Then s is equal to minus bracket 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square minus 4 multiplied by a is 1 multiplied by c is 7 divided by 2 multiplied by 1. x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 squared, that is 16, minus 4 times 1 times 7, that is 28, divided by 2 multiplied by 1, that is 2. Then x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus 28 that is minus 12 divided by 2 then s is equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root of minus 12 can be written as 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by minus 1 divided by 2 then s is equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 multiplied by square root of 3 multiplied by square root of minus 1 divided by 2. And s is equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4, that is 2, root 3, square root of minus 1, that is i, divided by 2. Then, s is equal to minus 2, plus or minus square root of 3, i. This is also the value of x now from the second case here from here that is s plus theory to the power of theory minus 2 to the power of theory is equal to 0 Take note of this that if you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this is equal to a minus b bracket a square plus ab plus b square. Then from here we have s plus 3 minus 2 bracket s plus 3 square plus 2 bracket s plus 3 plus 2 square is equal to 0. Then from here we have s plus 3 minus 2 that is 1 
bracket if you expand this we have s square plus 6 x plus 9 plus 2 x plus 6 plus 4 equal to 0 then here we have s plus 1 bracket s square plus 6s plus 2s that is 8x plus 6 plus 9 plus 6 that is 15 plus 4 19 is equal to 0 there are two cases here the first case is s plus 1 equal to 0 and the second case is s square plus h s plus 19 is equal to 0 and from here s is equal to minus 1 also from here this is a quadratic equation which can be solved using quadratic general formula s is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 ac divided by 2a and from this equation a is equal to 1 b equal to 8 c is equal to 19 then we have s is equal to minus h plus or minus square root of 8 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 19 divided by 2 multiplied by 1 s is equal to minus 8 plus or minus square root of 8 square that is 64 minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 19 that is 76 divided by 2 multiplied by 1 2 then s is equal to minus 8 plus or minus square root of 64 minus 76 this is minus 12 divided by 2 then s is equal to minus 8 plus or minus minus 12 square root of minus 12 can be written as 2 root 3 i divided by 2 then s is equal to minus 8 divided by 2 minus 8 divided by 2 plus or minus 2 divided by 2 root 3 i 2 year 1 2 year 4 2 year 1 2 year 1 s is equal to minus 4 plus or minus root 3 i these are also values of x therefore our final answers are x1 is equal to minus 5 s2 is equal to minus 1 then s3 is equal to minus 2 plus root 3i then s4 is equal to minus 2 minus root 3i x5 is equal to minus 4 plus root 3i and s6 is equal to minus 4 minus root 3i 
so these are the values of s you can see that we have four complex root this is complex root this is complex root this is complex root and this is also complex root i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel bye